Okay, so we are going to choose your strategy for multiplication here. This is uh, Bridges Math 4th grade homework. And what we're going to do here is do the standard algorithm for multiplication and then do it a different way and then choose which one is maybe quicker or easier or maybe which one do you prefer, I guess. So for the standard algorithm here, 9 times 6 is 54. So the 50 comes up here. And then 6 times 30 is 180, right? And then you're adding an additional 50 to that, which is giving you 230, I believe. And there it is. For another way, I prefer the over method. So let me write that. And um, I would do basically 240 minus 6. So if you need to know what I did there, I did 40 times 6 and then 1 times 6, which is also 234. What do I prefer? What do I think is better? I definitely think this is a better way to do it because you're uh, understanding what's happening more. Another one, here we go, 51 times 7. So 7 times 1 is 7. 7 times 50 is 350. And there it is, that was pretty quick. I would do this one partial products, I think. So I would have uh, basically uh, seven times 50 and seven times one and add them up. And uh, quicker, the one on the left, what do I like better? I like this one better. This one was called partial products. So just, uh, yeah, do the other two on your own. What method do you think is better? I don't know about quicker and easier. Uh, I tend to always pref prefer the non-standard algorithm method. And now we're just doing some estimation. We don't even need to solve these. Just estimate. So what are you thinking here? I'm thinking 50 times 8 is 400. It's going to be just less than 400, right? So <clears throat> that's how I figured it out for the estimate. Look at this one over here, though. Uh, what I would do for this one is I know that 300 times 3 is 900. I know 25 times 3 is 75. So it's going to be a little bit more than 975. It's going to be closer to 1,000. Some people might make the mistake here of rounding 300 down. But you can still do 25 times 3 really easily to get the estimate. Um, so what method did I use? Well, um, I used partial products here. Right, And then I used the over strategy here. And I also did a little bit of rounding. I rounded 49 to 50. So I'm kind of using everything. All right, let's move on down to some of these stories here. And we've got four kids who have 37 marbles each. So that is going to be multiplication. And times four is really a great chance to just do double, double. So if I double 37, I'm thinking... 35 and 2, and double each of those is going to give me 74, and then I'm going to double 74, and I have my answer. Or you can do it in another way, however you'd like. Then we've got some kids who are doing a car wash. So 6 bucks to wash a car, 28 cars a day for 9 days. So let's first figure out how many cars they did total. And... I'm going to do the over method here. So I have 280 minus 28, which is give me 252, right? And then we now have $6 for each of these 252 cars. So maybe this is a chance here. If you want to do the standard algorithm, you could do it there or however you want to really. Um, Maybe you could do partial products, like so 6 times 200 is 1,200. 6 times 50 would be what? 6 times 2, um, or however you want to multiply that is fine. But then your final answer, remember, times dollars is going to be in dollars. So how much did they earn in dollars total for that? So that is your homework, and thank you. And goodbye.